cheap sim rigs are somewhat popular to start out with, but there's a huge problem with these cheap sim rigs, especially when you're starting out. I watched a whole bunch of videos how bad habits in sim racing are really hurting you in the beginning and they are very hard to unlearn and that's because of the next reason when you're starting out because of the flex in your sim rig when you're braking everything starts moving and you get wrong muscle memory you may know me from youtube like sim racing arnaut but i also am a craftsman a freelancer welder in stainless steel and i know quite some things about manufacturing and constructions and trust me you want to watch this whole video to have a holistic idea how this upgrade path in sim racing for you is going to be way more cheaper than mine so why should you never buy a cheap sim rig first of all they're gonna set you back like 200 300 euros even you can't put proper load cells on them because that will make them flex like massively also the chairs are like medieval torture devices if you go sit on that for one hour you will come back from like you will probably have some back pain and like weird pains in your body and if you want to sell them afterwards they probably don't hold a lot of value and if you didn't buy a cheap sim rig, sim rig you saved some money to actually buy like proper gear like a direct drive and a load cell what i absolutely recommend even when you're starting out because later you want to upgrade cheap racing gear anyways oh and by the way i am not making this video for like this is what you need to buy this is just what i would do i've seen so much videos on like different gear and different perspective you know i will not be a channel that will compare all these things this is just what i bought and i am very happy with this setup this setup that i have i completely built from myself for stainless steel i'm an absolute believer of fanatec but there are a few other established brands that i would also choose for if i didn't have this set now i will put that in the description as well and it does give you the proper experience for sim racing if you're using a logitech to start out with and you think to yourself ah this is not really fun sim racing no because like a cheap uh, gear driven belt driven steering wheel will not give you the proper sim race experience so that will be your first gear will be somewhat expensive because you saved money on the sim rig but arnaut what about that sim rig do i need to put it on the desk and like on like on a table clamp whatever no do this instead build your own sim rig from wood as you're starting out it's gonna be stronger it's gonna be cheaper and what i recommend first is that you go to your local car scrapyard and buy like a seat from an old sports car that will be way more comfortable you can adjust it in all the angles and they shouldn't be that expensive and you can go buy like a very expensive bmw seat or whatever but i think you can do this cheaper as well and they're fully adjustable and they're very comfortable then when you have that chair you go to your local woodworking shop and you're gonna give them the cut list that i will put in the description below and there will be also the fully designed so you can just like i try to make this as easy as possible for you because my goal of this video is just to, to put people on proper rigs for like when they're beginning and that will give you such a solid foundation even if you're learning this this hobby oh and by the way when you buy a car seat make sure the sliders are aligned in the height and the difference because uh, then you can just put that straight on the rig in the drawing that i put down below so in the description i will put the drawing and cut list uh, there will be screws for you to buy that you need to use to screw everything together and there will also be affiliate links for the brands that i would recommend uh for sim racing gear you buy uh if you use the link that would be absolutely special so i can get a little bit of a percentage of these sales you're not paying extra but it does help me out a lot in my opinion the only thing you need to buy for sim racing is a direct drive and load cells if you have this 
you don't have to worry about upgrading that anytime soon. Don't go for belt driven, gear driven, direct drive mate, it's the way to go. And this is only for Simric. If you would ask me what platform you need to do this on, you need to go PC mate, period. So if you're gonna take my advice and you're gonna build this sim rig, make sure you drill holes in the like the upper beam so the wood will not crack open. When you, you cannot put in the screw like immediately. You need to drill it before a little bit with this like if you have a four, five millimeter screw, you need to drill like a hole of three millimeters and then you can put the screw in and make sure there's no play in between. Make it nice and strong. And if you're using this rig, and you have a chair and pedals and you're using the templates to drill the holes uh, i think also massive advantage here you can really adjust this to your liking now you need to make sure if you have a table clamp for your direct drive is actually going to have the height that is for the beams of the sim rig so maybe you need to make like a little bit of a thinner beam where you're gonna put the steering wheel but a pos it's impossible for me to say which kind of gear you have and if you wanted to go really massively cheap you can still buy a cheap logitech i put on this rig and you will have a very very cheap rig oh and i have some other thing to say now this is gonna take up some room in your bedroom in your living room and maybe the wife starts complaining about this yeah well you just need to make like try to convince her that this is a hobby you want to get into and you won't make any compromise with foldable weak rigs don't do it just do this and if you don't like it bruh and you can also paint this or maybe like this make this a part of your furniture in your house and this is something to be proud of mate this hobby this is gonna be a part of your life so your wife is going to need to accept it this is just a design where i came up with to make it as simple as possible just straight lines at 90 degree angles but feel free to like reinforce this even more you know make it even more stronger and i believe if you like make it even more stronger you can put pedal sets on here for like 100 kilos plus yeah uh, and then later when this hobby is like you're really into sim racing whatever then you can buy that really proper aluminium rig but then you're already having your direct drive and your load cell so you're the reason why you want to do the do this like this you will save so much money in the end because you already have the proper gear please hit that like button if you like this video and maybe consider subscribing